Hello all, welcome to your coloring social on a Friday night. It's time to decompress from the week. Um, loved that fun song. Um, it's just called Unicorn and it was by, it's somebody, uh, Anita Hager. I'll have my playlist ready at the, but it's like a unicorn song for grownups <laughs> instead of um, a little kid unicorn song. So I have to tell you, I am embrace. Oh, well, first off, my name is Jennifer Ogilvie and I get to be your facilitator this evening as we color together. And um, my co-pilot this evening is the fabulous Begley Grady. And she's going to be hanging out in that chat answering any questions you might have along the way. This is a chill social. This is listen to music, work on your page. Um, it can be the coloring page in our journal. Maybe you have a coloring book that you're pulling out, or perhaps you put us on and work on one of your hobbies where you find your flow state. That's what this time is about, about chillaxing and, and kind of um, just, you know, decompressing and getting getting your mind engaged in in things that will bring you good uh good good feelings um that good juju so um yes unicorn it is a magical month i love the page it goes so well with our theme of play and y'all i just i had to share a couple of personal unicorn <laughs> things with you. My little granddaughter turned three on Easter Sunday and she wanted a unicorn birthday cake. And so um, her little, little family party was about unicorns. And I have a dear friend who is a children's director at a church. And of course she owned two unicorn um, blow up costumes. And so that is my husband and me. And, um, that kicked off my whole embracing the month of play and this fun unicorn page. We came out, I told him we're going to walk out and then just stand there. Cause we don't want to freak the grandkids out. So, um, that's, that's what we did. And it, it, I just laughed. I said, it's just my unicorn month. Right. So, um, I, I just wanted to share that with you. It brought us a lot of joy to do something silly. We definitely embraced play together. Um, so like I said, that's this month's theme. We're digging into it through our weekly setups and answering questions and thinking about what play looks like now that we're grownups, right? And why do, do we tend to leave some of those moments behind, um, there are our community guidelines. You see these when you come to a social. We always like to share them on the screen. Most importantly, it's just about creating a safe space with one another. This is a community that is supportive. You are off camera. You are muted. Um, and it's just a nice quiet time for you. Um, and we want you to do things that, that bring you peace and joy. So if at any time something feels uncomfortable, just sit back. Usually this is the kind of social, like we're here to combat those uncomfortable things. We're going to color, we're going to create, we're going to let our mind calm down from the week. Our agenda, we're going to do a quick opening activity that you will probably finish up at another time because our time is limited. So I don't want to spend too, too much time doing that, but I've got some inspiration for you to embrace play through color. We're going to color and then we will close. So here is our opening activity. We are going to embark on a colorful adventure to infuse more play into our life with the rainbow challenge. And so we know we have the, the Roy G. Biv, um, you know, uh, when we are doing um, the rainbow, we try to grab all of those colors. Um, so during your rainbow challenge, what I want you to do is, is like, look through your journal and just pick a few days, pick a few colors, pick a few days and assign a color to some days. We've got several days left in this month. And during your rainbow challenge, take time to reflect on how color can influence your mood, um, energy levels, your overall sense of well-being. 
and embrace like the magic that color can bring to your life um, as you do put more joy and playfulness into your life. And I was sharing with Bailey, I feel like as I've aged, you know, my I'm I'm getting to be like like one color. <laughs> like my my hair is graying and my the the skin is getting a little less um, you know, uh vibrant. <laughs> and so I've started to embrace more bright colored lipstick. Um, I'm wearing more pinks um, because it makes me feel happy. And so colors can have that effect on us. So I have a couple of slides with some ideas for you to incorporate into your color days. Um, think about your color, your clothing, the accessories you wear, maybe nail polish, maybe you try a new lipstick or put a streak of color in your hair. Um, maybe some new soaps or bath bombs or lotions that is that are a certain color flowers for your desk or your table food and drinks are there some new recipes do you want to focus on one color of food for a whole day um spending time in nature and and noticing like on an orange day you know i'm going to catch the sunset today that kind of stuff right in a different color maybe maybe instead of you know if you always use black ink maybe use blue ink at work on a on a blue day um maybe there's a color pop you need to put in your environment again um perhaps you leave a, a colorful note for a stranger uh take a photo focusing on that color of the day and use that in your social media um, decorate your workspace with that color and um, maybe post, you know, use your socials and then also consider how your senses play into the color of the day. What does blue feel like? Does orange have a sound? Does green have an odor? And so I want to share just a couple of days that I'm going to do. So on the 15th, it's green day. I'm going to paint my toes green. I'm going to eat a big old only green salad with green goddess dressing. I'm going to sit in the grass. I'm going to listen to green day. Um, I think I'm going to make a movie date with myself to watch fried green tomatoes. Um, I have fiesta wear in all colors. So that day I'm pulling out the green dishes and um, we'll create some kind of a focal point in my home decor. Maybe go cut some branches or something. Um, ooh, Taylor, good smoothie recipe. I'm down. Um, and then I'm going to do a pink day. I'll wear pink. Um, I'm going to listen to pink. Um, I bought a new pink blouse. So that's going, you know, in the wardrobe that day. Wear my pink lipstick. I'm going to only write in pink. <laughs> that day. So there's that that's kind of how I'm embracing two of the de color days. Um you may only do two or three things on on that day, but I'm going to put on a little bit of music. I'll go back and forth between these slides and you know claim claim a couple of days and tell us on on April 17th I'm doing blue day and maybe share a couple of things you're doing because what you're doing might inspire someone else and it's a great way to embrace a little playfulness in our everyday I'll be back to check in with you in just a moment
with Susan just joined us. We're glad you're here. If you came in a little bit late, there's our opening activity. We're just going to be embracing colors. You guys had some great ideas. Um, there's a spirit week idea at work. Maybe, maybe that's an inspiration for, for some of you to, to embrace colors with folks. It is definitely like Felicia said, it's like kindergarten, right? Um, can you tell I'm a retired early childhood administrator? That is exactly what it is. We would have red day, blue day, and, and everything we did. Our snacks were based around the colors. It is such a great way to just incorporate a little bit of play into an ordinary day. So I am so proud of you for kind of thinking outside the box and embracing a few of these days for you. Um, you know, I, I hope that when you wake up in the, the morning of a color day, that you are excited and, and share in, in Saunder Club, if you will, that, you know, the inspiration that you got from being at the coloring social, but how you're going to embrace your yellow day or your orange day and what's what's going on and how that is fueling that um, playful energy that you have. So now it's time to dig into that beautiful, fun unicorn page. Here are some examples from our Sonder family and all kinds of tools have been used here. I'm seeing markers, I'm seeing colored pencils, and I'm seeing crayons. And I love how they all look different. And folks have just claimed this unicorn for themselves. Um, now, this month, I've I've just been a little, little sidetracked with some other things. I haven't colored my page yet, but uh, there's my granddaughter's unicorn cake, and I made that, and I am going to get inspired by my own unicorn cake um, for my colors. And oh, y'all, listen, TikTok and Instagram reels, you know, I can follow a tutorial. Um, so I'm going to be inspired um, on my unicorn page to embrace the rainbow unicorn that I did for my little granddaughter. Um, so let me put on a ton of music. Now, if this is your very first time at a coloring social, drop a me in that chat so we can give you a good welcome. But while, while you're doing that, I want to remind you, there is no right or wrong way to color. Stacy, Jody, welcome. Um, Coloring, you know, we, we, this is a great way to learn how to break up with perfection because we tend to want to stay in the lines and, and go with this perfect thing. And, and really tonight, what we're going to embrace is the process, right? What is going on in our brains when we are engaged with our pages and, and what's happening is we are shifting right from the week your brain when you are engaged in a creative action like coloring your brain is actually calming itself down you are getting some different hormones replacing those stress hormones that have been popping up from your very very busy week and your very very busy day so we are actually doing some very scientific um, healthy things for our brain to engage in a creative activity like that. So I want you to focus on the process involved, not the product. Um, you know, if you're not sure, gr just grab a colored pencil and start coloring. There's not a right way and there's not a wrong way to do this practice. Be sure you're breathing be sure you try to notice your body relaxing. And I'm going to put on a ton of beautiful background music while you work on this. I'll come and check in on, and see how you're doing in a little bit. But again, just really lean into the practice, just like if you were doing a yoga practice. You're concentrating on your breathing, you're decompressing, and you're treating your brain to some good downtime as you find your flow state through this creative practice. I'll be back to check in with you in just a few moments.
All right. I'm just checking in, making sure that you're remembering to breathe. Um, there's been some conversation in the chat about relaxing and, and yes, maybe you're finding that coloring is not speaking to you at this moment. You are always invited to carve out this time and work on something that will engage your mind and help you settle. Sometimes coloring doesn't hit and that's okay. If you've got, you know, days where your brain just will not settle, coloring for just a few minutes can kind of help you recenter and then you can carry on with whatever's going on. Or maybe you have a hobby and you just can come and, and hang with us, listen to the music, find that flow state to reset that brain. Make sure you're taking those deep breaths and you're relaxing your body, your jaw, your shoulders. You're not, somebody said they're, they're noticing in their hands, try to keep that a little bit more relaxed. Um, so that, you know, again, we're focusing on, on the process and we are, we're not going to focus on what it looks. We do like it to look good, but we're focusing on, on getting there. What, what is involved in that? Um, so I'm going to put on some more music while we kind of work on this page. And, and again, there's no rush. You may finish it. You may not, you may, um, be done tonight and, and that's it but you've carved out this time and space for yourself and your well-being. And that's what we're all proud of.
my friends, our time together is closing, coming to an end. I'm so glad that you took a few moments for yourself to either sit with us, to work on another project, to work on this page, to work on another coloring page, um, just that time to decompress. We're so glad you're here. Um, I am so excited about stickers. Um, so Bailey's going to start dropping some great links in the chat. These stickers, these vinyl stickers are really great. Um, and you can write on them if you get you like an ultra fine Sharpie, a regular Sharpie. You wouldn't want to use this on your regular pages because it bleeds through, but they are divine on this vinyl and these are kind of fun stickers you get a little this month we got a little mini bingo board and we've got you know some springtime stuff so check those out if if you're a sticker purpose and yes you you can write on them but i again i'm going to recommend it's like the regular sharpie but in the ultra fine point i you know i don't mind having another pen <laughs> i love i mean obviously you know my color anyway um but we did we tested them and i have a regular sharpie this kind that i use in my everyday um on the pages because it does not bleed through it smeared on the on the sticker so I'll, I'll have my little dynamic duo um so check out those fun stickers yes the colors are amazing there's all those important qr codes for referring a friend to silk and saunders so you both get benefits um upgrading to an annual subscription the survey uh feedback thing that will come and you get a follow-up email as well that will have all this information and there's the YouTube link um, that Bailey's dropping for the recorded socials. There's like almost 700. And um, last month, I believe it was, if you're brand new, at the coloring social last month, I shared a couple of slides with a lot of ideas for the different types of tools, um, markers, color pencils, what folks have been, the pens that folks have been successful with in their journal. So if you wanted to go dig back and um, find those two uh, different screens that were shared at the last month's coloring social, that might be something that you find beneficial. And then there's my little fun unicorn horsey um, kind of playlist. I am on Spotify. I have a big playlist filled with play this month, but our songs tonight, you'll find all the way down at the bottom of the Spotify list. So if you are on Spotify, feel free to grab that link. We are so glad that you gave yourself the gift of just a little decompression at the end of the week. Bailey and I always love hanging out with you. Um, I've got my rainbow part done. Would love to see your pages in Sonder Club, but also would love for you to share a couple of those color days that you embrace and let us know um, how that played into your in, um, embracing our theme of play this month. And I, I'll i see you, let's see, I'm thinking I do the setup on Sunday morning this week. So I'll be there and I'll be hanging out with Katie as she sets up our weekly um, pages tomorrow night. So I'll, I'll see y'all again over the next two and three days or so. Y'all have a beautiful weekend. Go figure out some ways to play this weekend and I'll see you soon. Good night. When I was growing up, my best friend was a unicorn. The others smiled at me and called me crazy. But I was not upset by knowing I did not conform. I always thought their scene must be hazy.